Bum. Bum, bum, bum. Well, hello there, this is Tamil, and uh, this is gonna be a little intro explaining what is my situation and how and why I transfer files from my iPad to my computer. If you wanna just skip to the tutorial, you can of course do that. It's gonna be a timestamp right here somewhere. But uh, I have an iPad and I have a lot of uh, files in there, a lot of... Uh, and obviously I don't want my mom to find out that I draw that stuff. So I back up my files to my computer and my computer is a Windows machine. So I can't really uh, do the fancy Apple iDrop, unfortunately. And I know a lot of people transfer files through emails or just use internet. So iDrop, um, cloud and you know, all those things. And my internet is super slow and I wanna save a lot of files all at once. So I have 50 artworks, 60 artworks, and I all want it to be in PNG and all those other formats that are very high res. The internet route is not working for me. And that is why I use files. So files is a system on the iPad that lets you uh, basically save or transfer a lot of files all at once. And also just a little rant. Do you remember um, back in the day when Nokia's were around and all those button phones, you were just able to use a Bluetooth with another phone and it had Bluetooth and they would just kind of like connect and transfer files. I was able to like transfer whole music albums using that. And now I have this, the most advanced thousand dollar technology with my most advanced laptop and I can't freaking transfer files between them through Bluetooth because that's apparently too complicated. Somebody fixed this, but until then you can use the files or obviously you can use the cloud services that I don't like using because my internet is really, really bad. Um, so let's just get into the tutorial. I don't wanna take up more of your time. And uh, that was just a little rant that I had. Let's go. So when procreate, and I wanna save these files. You can have more than this of course, and that is the whole point. We wanna save it all at once without going into each one. Once you select these or whatever you need, go into share, and in here you're going to see different image formats. JPEG is the low resolution one, which is very light. PNG is like the most preferred because it has transparency and it's pretty high quality. And let's say I wanna do the JPEG. And right here it's going to export, go into save files and go into save files. And then here you're going to find different folders of your apps. And we will just want to click on the Procreate and we can select right here and do a new folder. And just like this, we created a folder in which we will save all of this. And if we exit and we go into file, we go into on my iPad and right here you can find Procreate. And you can see I have all these different files that I've saved up. And in here, you're going to find the folder that we just created. And after this, we obviously want to connect these cables, one to the iPad, and one will go into our computer. And do not forget that when you connect your iPad, you want to make sure to unlock it. And sometimes it will ask you, do you trust this computer? And you want to just click trust, and then it will show up on your computer connected. Another thing to keep in mind is that you have to have iTunes installed on your computer, unfortunately, and you're going to be able to connect the iPad and it's going to show up in devices. All right, so we have our iTunes open and right here you're going to see this little icon and if you click on it and you click again, then you're going to see that you're gonna have all these options. And what we wanna go is file sharing. Once you click on the file sharing, you can find the app. So we can click on Procreate all right, so we have our folders open and the easiest way to do this is you just click what you want. Let's say I want this folder to save and you just scroll down and you're going to find a little button that says save. And once I click on that, you can go into any folder that you want and you can just click select folder. And as you can see, it showed up in our folder. I have both files saved in here in the JPEG format. And the cool thing is it actually works the opposite way as well. If you wanna add a file, you can scroll down, just click add file. And let's say we want to do these and I want to save just one of them. And I go into open. And as you can see, it added a file. And now I can go back into Procreate, into files, click on it, and it's going to open it through Procreate. 
And sometimes you can actually click and lift shift and drag and drop it into folders. That is also a really cool and fast option, though sometimes it doesn't work. So for example, I was trying to save this folder and drag and drop. For some reason, it just doesn't work. So thank you, Apple, for this. I can't open the folder when I double click on it, even though I was able to do that before. Um, as my suggestion, just don't make too many folders or just remember what's in the folder, or you can just dump it just like this. Uh, as long as you name it, I think you're going to be pretty good and you won't have to you know, worry about this too much. Usually what I do is I have all my artwork saved in one batch, so maybe 30 files like this, then I just drop it, and then I can just select and left shift, and then I just delete, and then it says, you sure you wanna delete it? And I say, yes, I want to delete it, and after that, I have pretty much emptied out my iPad, and now it's clean.